Hello guys, what's up? I'm Tofik Rahman. Welcome to my programming channel. And you see, this is one of my products web to app on Inverto, and I'm going to making the app customization videos based on this product. I hope that you have already purchased it. And you see at the bottom of the page the technical documentation link for customizing the app. I have already opened it, and I have already shown you some of the features like change the site URL how to open the project in Android Studio change the app icon and how can you change the package name and today I'm going to say, show you how can you configure the push notification so here are the guidelines at first you need to create a project in Firebase let's go to this link and it is loading still loading and you can uh, create a new project or you can add your app in an existing project I'm going to add my web app into this project I have already created and you see this is the list and click add another app and this will be an android app and you need to put the app package name here is the package name let's copy it and paste it and we need to set the nickname like my web app then click register app and then continue and then finish And you see this is the app my web app select here and go to settings and download google services dot json file This is the file. I'm going to open it in Notepad. And you see, this is the Google services.json file. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it in the app level folder right click it paste it and paste it as google services dot json we already have an existing google services dot json file that i provided but to configure it for your own notification you need to overwrite it and you see this is our file and it contains the notification configuration for many other apps so we need to delete all of them except my web app so this is an app here this is another app and you see this is our app my website this is another one let's delete this one 
and the first three and the last one and the comma two and you see this is our app and this is the file so we have configured our notification for app and then we are going to sync the project with gradle file let's see what happens and meanwhile let's check our documentation we have registered app downloaded to google services oh one more thing we need to uh, paste the google services.json file to app directory yes we have done it and we need to add com.google.gms uh, this line into our app level into our project level build.gradle file so uh, go to the project level build.gradle file and you see this one and you need to add this file google services 3.1.0 and you see i have already inserted it in my build.gradle file and to the app level build.gradle file you need to add this line and you see this is our app level build.gradle file and i have already inserted this line after the dependencies bracket so insert these two lines in the build.gradle file and build.gradle file too and then click sync the project so after doing this you are good to go that means you can now send the push notification and you see here are the instructions to send push from console go to the console and you see here is the link click here notifications and you see i have already sent a notification i'm going to duplicate it and here is our message text message label delivery date and here we are going to select my website this is our package and in the advanced section we need to send custom data title message and the url so then click send message and your notification will be sent immediately so for today that's it thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe